Operation of the small engine governor is commonly misunderstood, even by experienced technicians. I think this is because we haven't explained it well enough, something I'd like to try and correct with this video. Let's start with how the throttle is opened. The action of opening the throttle starts at the speed control lever. Governor spring tension increases when the speed setting is set to fast. The governor spring is connected to the governor lever. The governor lever pivots on the governor shaft, which extends into the crankcase. At the other end of the governor lever is the throttle linkage. The throttle linkage is connected to the throttle plate through a shaft and lever. The speed selector applies tension to the governor spring, which pulls the governor lever and throttle linkage, opening the throttle. These are the components that open the throttle. Full throttle opening is required for maximum power output. Let's take a closer look at how the governor closes the throttle. Inside the crankcase is the governor gear, which is driven by the crankshaft. The governor flyweights are attached to the governor gear. These flyweights are hinged and contain a lever that contacts the governor regulating pin. The regulating pin transfers motion from the flyweights to the cross shaft. Increasing the speed of the governor gear increases the centrifugal force created by the governor flyweights. As the flyweights move outward, they force the regulating pin away from the governor gear. The regulating pin is in contact with the cross shaft and causes it to rotate. The cross shaft is connected to the governor lever. If the RPM becomes too fast, the governor flyweights overpower the governor spring and the throttle closes. There are two forces acting on the governor lever. One, the governor spring, and two, the governor flyweights. Governor spring force is increased by moving the speed control lever to fast. Governor flyweight force increases with engine speed. At a steady engine speed, the governor flyweight and governor spring force are balanced. When engine speed is lost, governor spring force exceeds flyweight force and the throttle opens. When the engine overspeeds, governor flyweight force exceeds spring force and the throttle closes. A 
adjusting the speed control lever changes the RPM set point where forces are balanced and steady speed is achieved.